Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. Well, you wouldn't think that these are rivals at the moment, but come next Saturday night, they'll be punching one another's head in. Dave Allen and Lucas Brown, how are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> Lucas, welcome back to the UK. Thank you very much, mate. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. I didn't hear what you two were saying to each other in the ring when Sky were doing a replica of this, but what were you kind of saying to one another? I was just saying, um, until next Saturday, around 10 p.m. main event time, UK, um, we're all right. You know, I like Lucas Brown. I've got respect for him as a fighter, first and foremost. I said the Shaggy fight. I, I think I, I can't remember where I was. I, I was somewhere watching it. And I was a big fan of him at the time. Um, he beat my friend Richard Towers years ago. You know, I know, was, I know it, was a, it was a fantastic fight heavyweight. I was impressed with him in the Shaggy fight. I know that doesn't mean much coming from me at the time. No, it, yeah. But, and as a bloke, he's a good bloke. So, until 10 p.m. next Saturday, main event UK time, we're, we're, we're the best of friends, you know, we're, we're, we're all right. So until then, we're going to get along just fine, aren't we? We are. There we go. <laughs> You've never given me the microphone. I've never had one. <laughs> no, normally, see, um, yeah, we, we, we speak quite often over social media, and I do with a lot of other boxers as well. Um, there's no animosity here. We're, we're both here to fight. Um, and I believe, as he said, up until the bell rings, we're going to be best of friends and, and afterwards as well. But during the actual fight, we're both going to try and take each other's head off. Dave, is there anything while you're here that you'd like to ask Lucas about him that you perhaps didn't know before? Not really, no. What, what are you uh, getting at? Tell me, I'll ask him. No, I just want to ask him you wanted to know. You ask me and I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah you ask me. Do you want to ask me anything? Not really, no. No, um... McDonald's? No, I don't like McDonald's. I think because because we are the main event. The level, five guys. No, we're going to five level. guys. Yeah, right, I don't yeah, know if you have them. Do you have them over there? I've had it. No, that, not over there, but I've had, I've had it here. Did you like it? Not really. No. What did you order? I can't remember because it wasn't that good. What do you prefer? Do you prefer McDonald's out every fast food out? McDonald's would be my. If I was on death row, I would have McDonald's. Yes. When was your last McDonald's? Probably about a month ago now. You're a liar. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucas, obviously you, you fought over here many a times. Last time it didn't go your way, but you're hoping obviously for a much different outcome to, to when you were last year. In all honesty, all, all I'm worried about at this point in time in my career is uh, competitive fights, uh, putting on a good show for the people, representing myself obviously, um, and, and getting paid while I'm doing it. So I think this fight is something that's really going to showcase both of us. So you know, get, get paid while we're doing it, people cheer, and we put on a good show. I mean, usually when you're over here, you have got a UK fan base, but you know, like Dave Allen Mania will take over next week at the O2. Are you, are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm expecting that. He's a nice fella, so it's all good. If he wasn't a nice fella, I'd, be, I'd have issues, but um, no, he's a nice bloke and I'm, I'm completely happy with that. And Dave, you can confirm that you've actually been training for this fight as well, yeah? I've trained very hard for this fight, you know, um, for many different reasons. One, the Bracamonte fight. After the fight, I was, I was starting to think, you know what, I can't keep having fights like this. It's not good for my health. First and foremost, secondly, I'm fighting Lucas Brown. Um, I can't afford to come in that shape. You know, like Eddie said last week, if I came in the shape I was in Bracamonte, Lucas Brown would get me out of there in six, seven rounds, you know. Um, so I've got, I, I'm in the best shape of my, not in my life, because I was fitter as a kid. I was a pretty fit kid. I was a track and field superstar, shot putter, 200 meter. Not the Sri Lankan. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is, this is the best I've been for boxing. And, and like I said to Lucas in the ring there, which you couldn't hear, if Lucas Brown beats me, he's going to have to be back to the, the Lucas Brown that beat Shagayev. Because I, I, I'm pretty good at boxing right now, to be fair. Lucas, you know, Eddie Hearn has, has told him directly that if you're not switched on, you don't take this seriously, you're going to get sparked out. This is what Eddie Hearn has told Dave Allen. Well, I believe so. Like, I'm, I'm one of the heaviest hitters in the uh, heavyweight division. Um, I've just got to be on on the night. As I said, on the white fight, I was not. But uh, things have been rectified and I'm back on. So it's going to be a good night. He's got the chin, I've got the power. So, yeah, it's going to be a great clash. Have we had any clarity about whether this is the headline fight? Oh. This is the main event, yeah. 10 p.m. UK time. I will ring walk second and last as the main event fighter of the show. No, um, it's great. You know, I think you know, if Derek Cesaro was fighting... You know, a, a bigger name in the heavyweight division, bigger than Gashi, he would be the main event. You know, he's just coming off the a pay per view show with uh, Dylan White, but he's fighting um, Gash. Yeah. yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, he's fighting that, that Gash, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, as a former 
be a heavyweight champion in the world, fighting a kid with a big mouth who's trying to get there one day. This this is the biggest fight on the card, I believe. I I, I believe Josh Kelly and the other kids probably better fighters than I, but we're going to put the most bums on the seats that night at the O2, so, so we're the main event, and I have that clarified by a few people that we will be the main event on the night, so very exciting times. A win for you over Dave Allen. What does that do for your career? What's the target if you can beat Dave Allen next Saturday? I believe the contract states that I fight David Price. So that's, that's basically it. Yeah, there's, I, as I, I want to stay competitive, I want to stay active, and I want to stay in good fights and, and really sort of leave a good mark in my boxing career. So a fight like this is perfect for that. Is it in your contract that you will fight David Price? I don't have a contract. <laughs> I, um, Eddie said to me, you know, you, if you beat Lucas Brown, you can fight David Price, possibly Derek Chisora. I said, I'll fight David Price, please. Um, <laughs> And then, and then you know, it, 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 it's free, I'm only three fight. Both of us are only three fights away from a heavyweight title shot. Which it sounds ridiculous to you now in Spitalfields Market, but it's the truth. You're only ever three or four wins away from a world heavyweight title shot when you're in a decent position. It must be me fighting for the world title. Madness, isn't it? But it's a possibility. You know, if I beat Lucas Brown, beat David Price, beat a Chisora Parker, you're there. I'm fighting Joshua at Wembley rematch, Keep Out Stadium. You know, 2020 summertime. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> He's an optimist, Dave, but we love that about him. Um, right, it's a bit weird actually you telling one another, but your prediction to Lucas Brown about Lucas Brown. I'll let you go first if you want. I, I said this in the ring. I, I said this in the ring as well. Um, no, basically, it, it's going to be a good 12 rounds of, of hard ass fighting. I think it's going to be blood, there's going to be oohs and ahs in the crowd, and just a good old fashioned bash up, which I think people want to see. What I think, I'm not going to give the game plan away, but I anticipate I'm going to be coming forward trying to punch your head in quite a lot early on. I know I can't walk on to this man. He's, getting, he's 40 on Sunday. Happy birthday for Sunday Thank again. You. Thank you. But he's 40. He's slowing down a little bit, I believe. But the one thing you will not lose is the power, and that's what he has got. So I can't afford to walk on to too many early like I always usually do. I've got to be very careful. He's looking for the uppercut. I know you're looking for it. I've seen you on the pads. So you're not going to find me. You're not finding me with it. I'm not going to be at home. Um, I've got to make him miss early on. I've got to... I want to knock him out in the first round. He wants to knock me out in the first round. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's going to be possible for either of us. He's a lot smarter than people give him credit for. People think he's a big puncher and that's it. He can box, he can move. The Shaggy fight, he was boxing and moving. Same with Sokolovsky, people say he was, he was awful in it. I watched it, I watched it as a boxer. I see what he's doing, he's moving. He's going to try and do that with me. I wish he'd come and stand and fight me. I'd love you to, but he's not going to because he's not daft because he knows I'm a Ryan. But you can have a go if you want. It would make it very exciting. I know you're not going to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's going to be a fantastic fight. There's only one winner. Don't know who it is yet. I think it will be me. No, and two winners then. <laughs> yeah, the UK <laughs> fans, correct. Be me. Um, I anticipate a good fight. I anticipate winning. I think I'm younger and fresher, and I and I want it. I won't. I won't like to say I want it more because I, I couldn't. I couldn't quantify how bad you need it. I don't know what's going off in his life and how bad he needs it. I need to win on the 20th of April. I need it, and uh, it's going to take something spectacular for you to stop that happening. Dave Allen, Lucas Brown, thank you very much for being gentlemen and obviously giving me your time. We look forward to next week. Um, yeah, it's weird you two stood here like this because I know next Saturday night it's literally going to be like, take your head off time. I know. Yeah, no, it, it, it's weird, but it's actually good. I, I, I appreciate this sort of thing um, where people have to come forward and have to trash talk to try and big themselves up. I don't like that. I, I, I like the fact we're just normal fellas who just want to punch each other out. So that's great. By the way, when I was on the phone to him last night, he did call you a tattooed penis. <laughs> That's what he said. I shouldn't have said it. No, I'm only joking. Dave Allen, Lucas Brown, thank you very much. Wish you the best of luck. As long as you come out the ring healthy, everything else is a bonus. 100%. I'd like to win as well. I'd like to win as well. Thank you very much.